Have you ever noticed how every new building today just seems ugly? Well, there's actually a very sinister reason for this. You can probably see that historical buildings are completely different than the modern buildings of today. You know, the older buildings are all meticulously designed and articulated and they all have their own character. And then you look at all the new modern buildings of today and they just seem to have the same square, glassy, boring design that honestly, do you even really care about these kind of buildings? Is it true that this is one of the fundamental things being ripped from our societies to completely disconnect us from any sense of belonging or community, contributing to this whole 15 minute cities and enslavement of humanity? Well, to find this out, we need to go back and look at where all of this originated. And it all began with something called modernism, which you've probably heard of. Originating in the late 19th to early 20th century, modernism was all about doing away with old traditional values. A time where the study of science and worldly reality triumphed over things like tradition and spirituality. You know, they thought this marked progress of human nature and that this was the enlightenment of society. It was common thought within this modernistic movement that all of these long-standing traditional values were simply holding society back and they needed to do away with all of this. And that humans were in need of a huge shift to do away with these uh, values that have been held for thousands and thousands of years. Seems like a really good idea to get rid of these, right? And instead, people would derive their own meaning from things within the world instead of taking on existing traditions and values. You know, one quote really sums this up is to free humanity from its historical baggage through the medium of philosophy and science. And architecture was a huge part of the modernistic movement. And the built environment played a huge role in this act of freeing, doing away with these old traditional styles and religious values no longer being at the forefront of what these buildings are serving. Doing away with all of these old values led to buildings becoming extremely materialistic and basic, with minimal materiality and articulation. No longer do buildings have buttresses and steeply sloped roofs pointing towards the sky to something greater than us. No longer are buildings meticulously detailed with historic and meaningful stories to tell, through extensive ornamentation and attention to detail. Rather, replaced with the next cheapest fake stone or fake marble design at the lowest possible labor cost. This is all sustained by the ethos of the temporality of the new. Essentially meaning anything new is simply just temporary and it can be changed, it can be replaced and removed. This modernistic movement mixed with new age capitalism has resulted in a rather dire situation for the built environment in terms of retaining traditional values. Now this is not a overly political or philosophical video over whether capitalism is good or bad because you know I believe that capitalism is actually good for society. However it's not so good when it's mixed with this modernism movement and intentionally doing away with traditional design. You see I'm sure there's no specific architect or builder or contractor or developer sitting there at a table discussing oh we have to get rid of these traditional values. We have to, you know, we want to bring in this new age enslavement. We have to get rid of this, you know. I'm sure no one is sitting there discussing that. But the reality is there's simply no incentive to withhold any of these long-standing values. As everything in architecture and the built environment, it's all about choosing the cheapest and most basic materials, floor layouts, facades, you name it. Will all of this lead to the eventual enslavement of humanity along with 15-minute cities? You see, beauty equals attachment. When you have something beautiful, you intrinsically want to defend this and protect this, you know, whether it be your family, it could be a wife, child, or even if it is something material that you own. If it is beautiful, you intrinsically want to protect it and keep it safe or untarnished. Not to mention, if you have a collective of people that want to protect the same place, so you have what is called a community, which is a group of people with the same common goal. You know, a community of people that all want to congregate at the same place and protect this place for themselves, for their families, and even their future families. Now imagine your own town hall or community center. If this blew up, do you actually really care about it? Probably not. So when you have all of these buildings around that no one actually cares about, what actually happens? What do you get? Well, you get a society that no longer cares about their communities or values. 
which all contributes to the continuously growing black hole of hedonism. Why does anything in life matter if all the buildings where you're living just look the same and you don't care? You don't even care about the people residing in these buildings. It's all just the same thing and you have no attachment to it whatsoever. You know, architecture plays a key part in this overarching agenda to enslavement. Now, I'm not going to sit here and discuss, you know, every single thing that's happening in the modern world that is contributing to this. However, I will ask you, do you think the built environment is playing a key part in this overall enslavement agenda? You know, if there is no physical place for people to actually stand up and fight for, nothing that people actually want to protect, then does that just make it easier to simply displace people and make it easier to do away with old values or even any values at all? You know, you could have the argument that they're trying to push everyone into these 15 minute cities where you have all the human population within these small compact controlled environments that they can then be locked up and controlled if people start acting out too much. You know, this resonates with a lot of neo future depictions uh, through the media, such as Blade Runner, Total Recall, Cyberpunk, you know, this, or even the books. There's so many, so much media kind of predicting this future. Truly, only time will tell if humanity is heading towards this direction. But unfortunately, it looks like that we really are on track to this future. Is it time we do something about this? Should we be bringing back traditional values back into the built environment, bring back meaningful architecture and ornamentation. How would we bring back traditional values and ornamentation and meticulous design and storytelling through the built environment? The answer is, it would have to be something completely new, a whole new different category of architecture. What would this even look like?